So following on from our last video where we learned how to key out green screen on DaVinci Resolve for the iPad, in this video we're going to be creating some animated handwritten text like this with a little help from one of our other favourite iPad apps, Procreate. Okay, so starting off in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, we've got this moody looking clip shot through the car window at night with a bit of rain on the windscreen. So if we want to put some animated text over this, we're going to jump across into Procreate. Here in Procreate, we've got a new project. The first thing we're going to do is change that background colour. We're going to make a nice bright green colour. Now we're going to select white and we're going to select a nice brush. Once we've done that, we're going to hit screen record. Now with the screen recording, we're going to write on our text. We'll just write animated text. And then when we've finished writing, just leave it screen recording for a couple of seconds at the end. Okay, back in DaVinci Resolve, let's import our screen recording. Import from Photos, there's our screen recording. Tap Add. And we can preview that up here. Okay, then we can drag it straight from here, drop it over the top of our main clip. Now at the moment it plays through like this. So we're gonna need to crop away those borders. So to do that, we're going to highlight that clip. We go up to the inspector, and we're going to open cropping. And then we're just going to crop away all those edges. Okay, now we need to speed it up a bit. We can open speed change and increase the speed like this. Okay, that looks great. Now we're gonna jump into the color page. We're gonna create a new node by tapping up here. We're going to go over to the three dots and we're going to select add alpha output. Now we need to connect these two blue dots together and that's going to give us our alpha output. And now with the colour picker selected, we're going to select that white. And as you can see straight away that'll key out all that green. We can make adjustments to the hue, saturation and luminance down here if need be. But that actually looks okay, so let's jump back into the cut page. And the end result looks like this. So if you found this video useful, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials. Thanks for watching, see you next time.